What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing a real quick video on how I'm going to make an auxiliary power panel to hold a circuit breaker and a relay for my transmission cooler fan and another circuit breaker and a relay for a future electric radiator fan. Let's get started. So originally I had put the relay for the transmission cooler fan right there on the core support in front of the battery and the circuit breaker is right there on the firewall. So my plan is to build a panel that I'll actually mount right there on the core support in front of the battery, housing two relays and two circuit breakers. So the first thing I need to do is turn a piece of scrap sheet metal into that panel. All right, so now that I got the panel made, I can lay out my relays and circuit breakers. And there's the finished panel. Now I still need to drill the mounting holes on the side. I'm gonna sand the paint off the back where it's gonna mount up to the uh, core support. That way I'll make sure I get a good ground. Um, and I'm gonna leave the radiator power wires, radiator fan power wires coiled up for now since I don't have an electric fan yet. Uh, these two go to the transmission cooler fan. So the way this is set up is these are 30 amp circuit breakers. Main power, battery power, not anything going through the voltage regulator, but basically directly off the alternator, directly off the battery, comes into here and then goes out to the uh, relay. And then power out to the fan. This gray wire is actually basically like a trigger wire. So this goes to a temperature switch on the input to the cooler. And when that hits 185, that will the switch will close thereby providing switched power to the relay and triggering the relay. All that does is provide the voltage to the relay to trigger and to send main power out. I didn't want to have the, uh, the draw of the fan on the voltage coming out of the voltage regulator. I wanted it pulled directly off the alternator. So that's why I have it set up the way that I do. Super simple. Um, let me get this back in the truck and I'll show you how it looks when it's it, uh, all installed. All right, guys. And there you can see the final installation of my aux uh, power panel. I installed it right in front of the battery on the core support here. Plenty of clearance so that if, you know, when I eventually replace the battery, I've got some room. So not too worried about that. And to show you guys that this all works, I've got everything connected up. So once this, this is for the, uh, the transmission, so once the transmission fluid temp hits about 185 or so, this switch will close. If I can try to jumper this with one hand. Come on, get on in there. All right, let me put the camera up. All right, so like I said, everything's connected. The ignition is on. So if the truck was running right now and the transmission temp gets up to, or the fluid temp coming up to the cooler gets up to 185, There you go, everything works. So now, like I said, once I eventually decide to go with an electric radiator fan, then I've already got all the wiring here in place for it, ready to go. Well, there you go, guys. Super simple little auxiliary power panel to support added on items like, you know, trans cooler fans, radiator fans, lights. If you wanna add on, let's say like some fog lights or something like that, you would do the same type of thing. Super simple project. And that literally, I mean, that only took me like two hours. And that was from starting with a scrap piece of sheet metal. So appreciate you guys for watching. Hit that subscribe, hit the bell, and I'll see you all in the next one.